What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, and probably more than one day, we have this box of Modern Masters, Modern Horizons. I don't even know. This set's all blend together, man. Modern Horizons, courtesy of Guardian Links in the chat, otherwise known as Jake P, otherwise known as the proprietor of the wonderful game grid in Logan, Utah. Jake is an awesome dude. Jake is a great friend. Jake sent us this box of Modern Horizons. And we are going to open some some Modern Horizons packs during these Modern Horizons drafts. So, oh, look at this! Look at this crazy setup! Look at this! It's like this is what it looks like when you open it. <clears throat> you got a little, and then like the first two packs are like peeking out, and then you're like, oh, look at the rest of these beautiful packs. It's a good looking box. Oh, and look, you can do a little split here. You know, for one side and the other side. That's nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is the very first, first pack in the front, guys. Look, I I, I got my knife back. Finally, from uh, from service, and I ended up using this like this Leatherman knife instead. That like, with all the tools. And I could have just used my knife that I've been waiting for for weeks. Anyway, anyway, let's see what we got here. And there's a fan right in front of me, so it's literally like going to blow all these packs away, but... <clears throat> okay, so the back card. I just took the back card off, and it is this goblin champion. Come on. Get your get your zoom on. Get your focus on. Solid. Thank way, you. way to go. So I guess all the back cards... This is interesting. Oh, these are sweet, dude. These art cards, these are awesome. Lancer Sliver, 24 out of 54. These are sweet. I'm a fan of these. They should do this with all sets going forward forever. Elephant Token. Oh yeah, that's great. Wow, that's awesome. We got a, we got a force. <clears throat> it's a force of rage. Might be the worst one, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Unfor that doesn't work. And then we got uh, <clears throat> got a King of the Pride, a Farmstead Gleaner, and a Frost Walk Bastion. So there you go. And then we got this Snow Covered Plains, and then a bunch of commons. You guys know the commons, though, right? We'll see. We'll see them all in this pack. In this. In this. Phantom Draft we're going to do. <clears throat> Dunair, thank you so much for the resub. Oh my god, a year in life of Lepore Boys and Mike's so nice, so cute, and now you're abusing a a, a, ni na a knife? Cool, cool, cool for Frank Peralta. What's even going on in this in this comment? Oh, too bad it's... Uh, oh, that's so sad that we did a Phantom Draft, right? What's that dude go for? Unfortunately, um, I think we're just taking the battle screech here. Pack one, pick one out of this. That's actually a great question. It's hard to do it. It's actually it's gonna be harder to do a pack one, pick one here because I'd have to spread it all out. So we got this guy, force. It is this is hard to do because I'm like having to show you all the cards. Um, let's just say my pack one, pick one. Assuming there's a, uh, a pretty normal distribution of... It's probably actually a regular cohort. I think a regular cohort's pretty strong. Shapeshifter makes it very, very good. It's two two twos for four mana. And uh, it gets all the, the buffs. There's not This pack is not that great. Snow-covered planes? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, crashing footfalls? Oh, God, are we just going to be green-white again? I feel like I'm constantly green-white, but I'm not going to... Like, this is a crazy card. I'm really surprised this was passed. Yeah, we're definitely taking crashing footfalls. Wow, what do you take over this in a phantom draft? What uncommon is better than crashing footfalls? That's interesting to me. Too green white for me since I haven't seen any of those drafts yet. Okay, deal. Someone said in a YouTube comment they they don't think old Knight of Old Benalia is very good, and I think it's I think it's fine. 
I think the suspend cost, the suspend timing is a little high, but I mean, it, otherwise you just play it as a three three for five that pumps your team, right? Which I think is fine. <clears throat> Spring Bloom Dryad also fine. I think I still want this. I don't think Ephemerate's that good. Can you disenchant a changeling? No, because artifact is not a, a creature type. It is a card type. So I think crashing is too slow? That seems insane. I mean, I guess if you draw on turn like seven, it's bad. But if you draw on turn one or two or three, like it's, it seems pretty good. I'm probably going to take Squirrel Nest. This format does actually seem a little aggressive. Could just take Excavating Anurid as well. I think Squirrel Nest seems good, though. I don't know. Maybe the format is faster than I'm giving it credit for, but <clears throat> I don't. I don't know. This guy's always been great. Squirrel Nest could take. Over. I'm gonna take the Squirrel Nest. I think the odds of getting the other guy are are pretty high, as, as opposed to Squirrel Nest, which is like two Zelfir and decoys and one Splicer skill. This is usually just making a 3-3 for 3, right? Like, you're never going to actually splice this onto something for a reasonable cost. I mean, maybe you play like this and splice it on. I think it's just Bellowing Elk here. Like, we're not necessarily white because of this Battle Screech, but... Nether Spirit, a foil Nether Spirit. Mother Bear is one of the, I think one of those is one of the greatest commons in this set. It's just so much value. Nest is great with the overloaded uh, <clears throat> six four spell. So is Battle Screech. <laughs> just gonna make four six four flyers, like you do. I like Web Weaver Changeling. I think this card's good. It's a 3-5 changeling with reach, and then you gain 5 life if you've got some creatures in the graveyard. <laughs> Could take Chiller Pillar and just try to be... Uh... I think Chiller Pillar is the strongest card in this pack. And we'll try to get some snow lands here. Because that's what Mother likes. Yes. Oh, Snow-Covered Island? I'll take that over any of these crappy cards. This seems like a fixed uh, Saperling Sprout, Sprout Swarm. Let's take Winter's Rest. Let's see what we can do with this this snow nonsense oh he comes back that's great thank you all right decoy comes back as well and reprobation i guess is the, the pick there and uh, i guess we'll get one more All right, so between these picks, we're going to open another pack. Between these packs, we're going to open another pack. Oh, planes? Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, the rare is Hot Trash. Reign of Revelation is very, very good. Uncommon's not great. Pretty sure this is just a, a Windmill Slam Reign of Revelation. Oh! Foil token. What a time to be alive. Look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy with the green screen, too. You can just see everything. You're like, wow, are they translucent now? No. Oh, look at this. These are sick, dude. These art cards are sick. Oh, we got a, got a Windcaller Aven. You guys probably can't see these that well because the camera's deciding not to focus. And a Reap the Past. 
I don't know why the camera's not... Why aren't you focusing? And then our uncommons are Blizzard Strix, Tribute Mage, and Squirrel Nest. So not bad. Not bad. I guess that's not bad. Maybe just say not bad after all the packs. Hey, not bad. Hey, not bad. Was it not bad? I don't know, but it's not bad. Snow-covered island again. How, how, how high are people taking these, these lands? We could also just play like... Battle Screech, Decoy, Reparation. All of these are playable. We could actually just play these over the over the blue cards, too. <clears throat> and then take, like, Settle here. The Snow-Covered Islands are like a ticket? Wow. <laughs> That's done. Oh, this is a Phantom Draft, so it doesn't even matter, actually. But, I mean, like, I still like me on. The only thing I would have taken in that pack is either Chiller Pillar, or if we're going white, I would take the... Um, was there anything even that great in the white? Probably not. Twisted Reflection Rod entwining it, so I don't really care. Prohibit's actually not bad. Four three flyer for six is pretty high. But giving like your guy flight is pretty good. I do like Rocks Veteran a lot. Eh, probably just take Prohibit, I guess. Another Snow Covered Island. Frost Walla seems very good. Like there's some cards that, that are just that just benefit that just uh, reward you for playing the snow the snowlands. Frost Walla is definitely one of them. I like a regular cohort a lot. I also think Smiting Helix is great. I feel like we're in the wrong colors here. This is actually fine. Another prohibit. Choking tellers. We'll just take Snow Covered Island. Snow Covered Forest. Unbound Flourishing, huh? Whenever you cast a permanent spell, eh, this is just X mana, right? Whenever since the source reaction ability, if that spell's mana cost, this can be. Yeah, we're never never doing anything with this. Um, I'm just gonna take Mother Bear here. We can take Snow Covered Forest, actually. Or the Mother Bear. Hey, Snow Covered Island again. Alright, cool. Four Snow Covered Islands so far. Seems good. Winding Way could be decent. Probably just want a weather the storm, I guess. Spring Bloom Druid's nice because you can just go get your your snowlands. Yep, just taking this guy in case we are indeed white. Um, ugh. It's going to be like no time to make the next pick, I bet. Pack three. Let's see how many seconds we have. Uh, this mountain. Pack two. Do we even get a pick here? Let's see. Nope. Don't get don't get a choice. Cool. I really want to like send a re refund request for every draft that does this in, which is like all of them. Because it's kind of obnoxious. And, like, I seriously do feel like there could be 14th picks that are very relevant to our deck. It's either Marasa Behemoth or Frostwalk Bastion, I think. Yep, you can't pick the last three cards in pretty much any pack. Yeah, it's just, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's really, I don't know why it's still a thing. Like, this should be a bug that's, like, squashed immediately because it actually affects numerous, numerous play, numer numerous events. I think it's actually the Bastion. We can probably get another Marasa fat boy. Wow, what is the Pirate's favorite Modern Horizons card? Arr, 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 Arr,
Factor Fiction is nice. Mist Syndicate Naga, three mana for a 3-1. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create a token that's a copy of it. That seems actually pretty sick. Oh yeah, we're taking that guy for sure. Factor Fiction's great, but we already have a Reign of Revelation. And we have a Scour All Possibilities, so I'm not super needing card draw here. This card seems great. And if Trumpeting Herd or Annurator Frost Wallet come back, I'm very okay with those. Winds of Abandon. Actually pretty decent. Savage Swipe, my friend Case says that this is the best card, the best common in the set, so I'm just going to take it anyway because it's still very good, even if I don't agree with the best common. I don't know. We got this guy. We got this shapeshifter here. Is there anything I can do to make this focus easier? What's going on? Come on. There we did it. We did it. Oh man, look at these. These I'm these are like my favorite part of Modern Horizons right now. Like these are awesome. Come on, give me that zoom. Give me that focus, rather. I keep calling it zoom. I meant focus. I'm zooming so it wants I want it to focus. It's not gonna work, but they're, they're, trust me, they're real cool. We got an Ayula's influence. Bear Mom. There we go. And our uncommons are Orcish Oriflam, Lesser Masticor, and Smiting Helix. These art cards are sweet. I'm really... Yeah, the colors are definitely more vibrant when, there's, when they're not like matte. Um, Birthing Bows is pretty sweet. Another Chiller Pillar. I think it's actually just Birthing Bows here. Also Trumpeting Herd. This pack's actually very, very good. Oh yeah, Smiting Helix if it costs three. That'd be sick. I'm going to take the Birthing Bows. I think it's probably the best. Whoa! Whoa! I got excited because it's a foil hex drinker, but it's a phantom draft, so it's not really a foil hex drinker. Either way, this card is still great. So, and a force of negation. This is the second force of negation we've seen in this draft, which is kind of funny. Oh man, never happening in uh, in non phantom drafts. And there's the uh, the Marasa Behemoth that we were hoping for. I don't mind having a nature's chant in the sideboard. There are quite a few enchantments and artifacts that I'd like to get rid of. Also, snow-covered forest is an option, but we're really like we only have chiller pillar and frost waller right now. Wait, wait, I'll just take the forest. Actually, we do have winter's rest, which does care about snow perms. Man, Zuko cultivator is interesting. Another mother bear is probably where we want to be, though. We don't have that many two drops, and I think we want another two drop creature. As a relatively late settle beyond settle beyond reality rather. Another 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 settle beyond reality. Wow. That's interesting. Another chiller pillar. This, like I would take any any of these four. These are all very, very good. I think it just might be trumpeting herd. Because you don't actually have one. Yeah, I'll take a snow covered island here. This is a lot of snow covered islands. Oh, another trumpeting herd, sure. Probably playable over one of the Bellowing Elks, actually. <laughs> oh, didn't I? Well, I wanted the Nimble Mongoose, so I'm glad, I guess I'm glad I picked that. I guess we're going to get two more picks at the very end that have no... That we have no choice over. Last pick, obviously, you never have any choice over. But the second, second to last pick is definitely relevant in this format. So, I kite and recruit. Sure, cool, cool. Last two picks. <laughs> cool guys, super cool. Oh, did I, did, I, did I snag a third mother bear somewhere? That's pretty cool. Maybe I knew that. I don't know if I knew that or not. All 
All right, let's uh let's let's open one post draft pack. We're looking for mythics here. Where are my mythics at? Oh man, these are so good, dude. I'm sorry, I can't get over these these art cards. Look how sweet these look. They just kind of, they really pop, dude. It's unreal. You guys you guys really have to see these in person. They just have a great look to them. Ooh, a silent clearing, guys. It's so much work to get these to get these to focus. And then we have an alpine guide, a splicer skill, and a good fortune unicorn. Good fortune unicorn. That's a it's from Red Hot Chili Peppers song. You guys know the Red Hot Chili Peppers? I'll take one bellowing elk out, I guess. This is twelve creatures, but also two trumpeting herds, a birthing boughs, a squirrel nest. So we actually have a ton of creatures. And Bastion, bunch of lands. We could also board in uh, Settle Beyond Reality and the and the single planes at some point if we wanted to, because we do have Spring Spring Bloom Druid and a planes to go find it. But I don't think we're there yet. Seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, it's probably it's probably nine seven. Erring on the side of forest because we do have. Um, Double green, double green, double green, double green. And a bunch of green here, so. Dream of California. <laughs> Thank you. Dimitri, thank you so much for, for, for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Let's go keep this hand. This hand seems fine. If we can draw a Crashing Footfalls on turn one, I'd be way okay with it. Keep. Crashing Footfalls. It's just an island in the wind. Ooh, a squirrel nest. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, Mother Bear. Mother Bear, Mother Bear, what are they feeding you? So we can either play um, Squirrel Nest this turn and not use it, and then play Mother Bear next turn and make a token, right? So we're adding three power to the board next turn. Or we can play Mother Bear this turn, attack for four, and then use this, make the Squirrel Nest and still, and then use it next turn. So I think we're going to do that. It's not your fault. So we attack with both. We pump the one they block. It's two for one. It's not great. I think we're just squirrel nesting. We could also savage swipe they pump and then we elvish fury our guy. Which is still a two for one. I think we're just nesting here.
Well, this is nice because we can straight up kill the Ponder Mage. Or we can kill this. I think this is probably worse. Just because this is a 3-4 now, this is always almost always a 4-4 four, four when they have three snow lands. Yeah, this just seems much better. We just get to eat this guy for free, basically. Seems good. Is Simic your favorite guild? Um, I don't know if I have a safe favorite guild per se. Sultai is my favorite color combination. Simic is a part of Sultai, so it's definitely it's definitely a possibility. I kind of just want to play this guy, but we're not hitting our lands. I'm just gonna trumpeting herd here and pass. This guy's pretty rough. I hate like I wish we had another land because then we can keep up Squirrel Nest and like Elvish Fairy, but we put this on a blue because we needed double green for things. We only had two green at the time, so I didn't want to be like, oh, I'm gonna use two of my green this turn, and then I can't make a squirrel. Yep, that guy's very good. I assume they're going to sacrifice their island. Yep. <clears throat> this is interesting. Yeah, this seems like a pretty easy uh pretty easy trade. And you have something. Sure. All right. Well, we traded it's a one for one. We traded our it's actually half for one, right? They traded a twisted reflection for an elephant token, so that's actually fine. Remember the turn yesterday where our opponent had two trumpeting herds and they forgot to just cast them both? Man, this green man is really punishing us here. I think it's still fine. Yeah, that's fine. It demonstrates how not every well-designed card has to also be super powerful. I think but this I think this is really good. Like I think it's actually very powerful. I mean, 2 2s for 2 and limited are are fantastic. They're just kind of what you want. But like when you have a 2 2 for 2 that also gives you two more 2 2s for 2 at no cost in the late game. Like it's very good. So 
So we can play Behemoth, or we can play Hex Drinker and add one, two, three, four counters to it. That seems pretty good. And then next turn we can make it a 6-6 six, six with Pro Everything. Yeah, that seems all right. Don't kill my Hex Drinker, bro. Um. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna go to the next, the next episode. Make you use your mana, I guess. Okay. Uh, I'm probably just going to keep this up, actually. Because now we can play Elvish Fury on this guy, so. I feel like I, I feel like if we can get the text stringer up to six, it's going to be pretty insane. <laughs> Wait, that falls off if I pump him, right? Oh, that's pretty great. Yeah, because if you have protection from blue and you, and you have an enchantment on a creature, like, the enchantment falls off. Oh, that's pretty good for us. Oh, they're just going to concede. They're like, maybe he won't notice. No, he noticed. <laughs> and this is why we like that Nature's card. The, the card that uh, naturalize and disenchant. Nature's Chant or whatever. Um, because there's a lot. Look at this. They got this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Like, these, arguably, these are not worth killing, but they still exist in the format, so. Alright, it's another game, so. Oh, Spirit Token. I actually don't have the Spirit Token, which is pretty sweet, because I have Seraph of the Scales in uh, Standard. Is a card I, I like utilizing. Oh, Blightning, Lightning Skelemental up in here. These also are super sweet because, like, you can get them signed at events. You can trade them with people. We got a Winds of Abandon. I actually didn't know this was rare. This is the uh, the Path to Exile kind of card. If it if it would ever focus, jeez, come on. Okay, cool, awesome. Quality quality content, Logitech quality content. Exile target creature you don't control. For each creature exiled this way, it's controller switches over for basic land. Those players put those cards on the battlefield. Overload is six. So you exile all creatures you don't control. They search their lands for they search the library for all of those. I mean it's kinda like it's a it's a very much a, a settle the wreckage type card. And then we have Pillage, Feaster of Fools, and Webweaver Changeling as the uncommons. Oh you'll you'll see you'll zoom on the uncommons. You'll focus on the uncommons. Come on. I mean, that wins. Give me one one time. What if I put it down here? No? You just not like it? What's the deal? What if I go from here and I do it bring it in slow? Alright, cool. Awesome. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm just gonna submit. Our deck seems fine. We'll keep this hand. We could use some lands, but... Pillage being in the set made me sad there was no Magic TV anymore. Yeah, when I first saw the Pillage, I posted on Mashi's wall and I was like... I can't believe it. It finally happened. Alright, so we're looking for lands. If we want to go Mother Bear into Snow-Covered Island or Forest, I'd be okay with it. 
Oh, our opponent kept the old two-lander. Or one-lander, rather. Bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I was listening to some uranium rock here. I was, I was, I've been really jonesing on some Fallout soundtracks recently. Atom bomb, baby, atom bomb. Muzzled in my wigwam. Doop a 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 Got this lizard, he's coming in. He's gonna attack and he's a ba -doo -doo. What's our plan here? Bellowing elk? Yeah, that sounds good. What's bellowing elk? Gotta sneeze. Oh god. <coughs> There's your one sneeze per stream. Yeah, no blocks. We will not trade a 4 2 for a mother bear. Oh, we're in the blocking phase? Do they know this? Huh. I guess they do. I guess they do. can't play this we could play this try to hit a land and if we hit a green source we can actually play it and still savage swipe i kind of like that better come on uh forest beautiful beautiful what are we discarding here actually probably mother bear i think we're past the point of that and also just gives us gives us the perk we need Oh, we're actually not attacking with you, because then you just die. That would be sad. We should have attacked first. And then we could have gotten two extra points in. We are amateurs. Magic amateurs. Mother bear, mother bear, what are they? I can't, I can't say, I can't say or see mother bear without thinking of smelly cat. Oh my god, this is gonna be such gas. And even if they block, we just snow covered island. I just want to say I got introduced to you from a game against LSP, and my immediate thought was, who the hell is this cat? Then I saw the greatest game I've ever seen. Wow, that's that's hilarious. That was your first introduction to me, because I was making like magic content for about ten years before that. I had two articles up on TCG Player every week before then. I was on a podcast called Untapped. Um, either way, appreciate it, though. Powerhausen, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the, uh, the kind words. Oh, man, we get two of this, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Villy with the gifted sub. They've gifted 176 subs in this channel. That's a totally reasonable amount. That's a totally reasonable amount. I kind of just want to tap this guy forever. Like, Mother Bear's good because if you kill it, they get two more guys. By not killing it and leaving it on the board, they're just stuck with the Mother Bear forever. Onerophage. All right, come on. Land seems good. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. So they're 100% blocking one of these guys. We can actually pump both of them, which is pretty sick. One, two, three, four, five. We'd lose our thing, but like they just lose two guys, so whatever. 
Goalie, what's going on, my dude? Yeah, this is like the easiest double block you've ever seen. Also the easiest Elvish Fury I've ever seen. Like, passing the turn with two Miss Syndicate Nagas on board. Seems good. Oh my god, they're just they're just stomping our Miss Syndicate Nagas. All these lands are pretty nice though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, so we can actually play Frostwall of Trumpeting Herd. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, not actually gonna gonna not not gonna not gonna run these guys into your into your spiders. You got it. <sighs> you know what to do. Oh, your own trumpeting, your own elephant. If we hit another land, we can actually Squirrel Nest and make a... Well, we're definitely doing that. Chiller Pillar is pretty decent next turn as a 5-5 uh, five, five flyer. Today was my kids' last day of school. They got out early, so I got off work early, too. Man, what a time to be alive. Getting out of things early is usually the best, unless it's like a Marvel movie, and, and then I'm like, can it keep going? Can there be more? What's that card do? What what card? You gotta be a little more specific, my man. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Float on over. I'm gonna, oh, they're just gonna take six here? A bold strategy, Cotton. They have what, four attackers? We have one, two, three, four, five blockers. So even if they have like scale up or something, we're still fine. Do you have five cards in hand or one card in hand? Oh, that's really sad. You're being a real jerk right now with your winter's rests. I see. Hmm. It appears our squirrel nest, our squirrel making capabilities are even. I guess we could also mother bear this turn which seems pretty good they're at six 
Yeah, let's Mother Bear. Seems good. Oh, let's not F6 here. We don't want to make a, want to make a dude after, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think next turn we probably just. Oh, Jesus. We're just making so many creatures. Yeah, next turn we probably just win. Presuming they don't do anything ridiculous. Like we're making four more guys for, to attack with next turn. Do these get haste? Oh, they don't get haste. That's sad. You think they get haste because all the creatures that come into play off of suspend come into play with haste. So it's interesting that these don't have haste. Am I going to play a specific modern deck after draft? Uh, I have not decided yet. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But also, um, I do have several deck critiques in the queue. If you guys have a deck critique that you have, that you have paid for by me, I have I have not forgotten about it. It is definitely in my list. I've just been trying to find a uh, an opportune time to do it. Especially, I was waiting till after Modern Horizons came out. Oh, well, I guess we'll just make a dude. Uh, should I keep or sell my Ren 6? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. It's probably very high right now, but it's also probably not going to go down because Modern Horizons is a very limited set. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Actually, like prohibit here. That's nice. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten creatures that can attack. Eleven. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two of our creatures would get through. And they'd probably be one ones. And that's pretty bad. So next turn, four of our creatures get through. Presumably. Yeah, this guy being tapped down is great because um, with the indestructible with the uh, the indestructible clause, like they would just have to chump it every turn, which would be great. Uh, especially because we could make it indestructible every turn. But um, alternatively, like the the two, they actually use their their winter's rest on two of our best creatures here. can't imagine they attack here. Or maybe they do. Hmm. Was not expecting that. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They have 9. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So five of our creatures get through. Yeah, I think that should be the end. So we'll play that, I guess. All right, well, put them in the red zone. See if we're dead. Yep. Counted for that.
That's going to kill one dude. Does that bother us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So three creatures are going to get through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, 13. Four creatures are going to get through. So 1, 1, 1, and 2, 2, 2, 2, I presume. So I don't think we actually care about that. I think that's fine. Well, they only have four mana left, so we can counter literally whatever they play next. And we don't actually need to counter that to win the game still. This is still lethal on board. So whatever this is. Yep. The, oh my god! It's actually pretty awkward. Man. That's awkward. In our face, I guess. I mean, they have a bunch of small guys. Like, the crackback is still not going to kill us here, so I'm okay with it. They have to block these. So, sure. They also wasted two cards on one crashing footfall, so in the long run, that's good. We're going to have at least one blocker, and we're at 15, so... I think we're fine. Wow, that's so funny, dude. That's so funny. I mean, theoretically, like, we shouldn't have... They had four mana up, so we can counter whatever they play, because it's going to cost four or less. But then they play a Delve card, and it's like, oh, Thank well, you. that was... That had to be what you had. Puppy dog eyes with the Risa. Five moths. I love moths. They are the puppy dogs of the bug world. I actually am a big moth fan. I think they're just... I think they're just ugly butterflies. And I actually, like, I, uh... When people get mad at moths, I always I get real sad, because I'm like, hey, they ain't hurting anybody. Okay, so we're not going to pump here because we don't have to. Mm, this is fine, but it taps this guy down, I believe. This is sad. This is sad. This is fine. That's sad. Fine. Sad. And then, yeah, this is all This is all whatever. I mean, then that guy gets tapped. They have three creatures, and we still have an army, so. And we can still counter something else and uh, make a make a squirrely boy so we have one two three four five six seven creatures now and they will have four <laughs> seems good um yeah it's everybody in the red zone i guess so we have seven they have four right so theoretically this should be lethal I'm doing the SCG Team Modern Open at the end of the month. Nice, dude. Congrats. I mean, not congrats because you haven't done it yet, but like, should be fun. Should be good times. All right. Our deck seems good. I think this is the first time we've actually drafted Snow Mana. I'm going to open this Modern Horizons pack now. I'm trying to do it in between all the intervals. Ooh, a Foil Elephant token? Come on. This set is... These perks and the I'm more excited about the perks in the pack than the actual packs themselves. Look at these these foil tokens are hot, man. And we got a prismatic vista. Oh, that seems awesome too. I'm real excited about this. This is this is fantastic. God, I just like the art. I like the art and the fanciness. Oh boy, that's a good one. That is a seasoned pyromancer, py pyromancer, ladies and gentlemen. Why doesn't it? It's maybe it's, is it the rares? It just doesn't like focusing on the rares, maybe. There we go, seasoned pyromancer. What's this card going for? Can someone can someone figure this out? And then we have a lonely sandbar, a valiant changeling, and a siege gang lieutenant. 
Look how quick it focused on those three uncommons. It's unbelievable. Man, Season Power Mancer is gas. I will keep this hand. This hand seems great. Again, want to thank Jake P, otherwise known as Guardian Links, or if you're in the Discord channel, the subscriber Discord channel, which you should be because it's amazing. He is uh, Spectral Links on, on, on Discord. And uh, Jake P sent me this box from his store, The Game Grid, in Logan, Utah, which is super awesome. CZ PZ? Okay, that's pretty funny. I was like, why CZ? Oh, because CZ. Seasoned. I get it. I understand now. Dude, the art cards are fantastic. Like, I love them way more than I thought I would. And I wish that they were doing them for years. I wish they had been doing them for so long now. Oh, lesser Manticore. Or if you see a Lynx in the wild, that's also probably Jake P, yeah. Any Lynx, really. So they destroyed their own forest and they got a swamp out and they drew a card. That's interesting. I'm kind of okay blocking this. It has persist, but like, is it raining? Wow, Florida be crazy, dude. It's like pouring rain right now. It's just like, well, here's your rain. Yeah, I'm just going to block this guy. Like, I mean, we have to get it off the board at some point. This guy just, it's fine in the graveyard. And uh, we don't really have a way to destroy this. Man, it is straight, it is straight pouring out there, boys. Sure. Seems good. If we hit another blue source, it's great because we can keep up. We can play this. Oh, this guy's so bad against the stupid lesser Mastercore, though. Give me a fight card. My kingdom for a fight card. I'm sorry, what just happened? Oh, you just smiting Helix did again? Sure. Mm. 
I just want to get the bodies on the board. Get the bodies on the board. Wow, it is really coming down. It'll probably be done raining in like 15 minutes, though. It's Florida, so. Yeah, Miss Syndicate Naga, really awkward with Lesser Master Core on the board. So we'll make two Berry Boys. Two berry boys. Bum, bum, huh. Where'd they gain six life from? This card have lifelink? <laughs> oh, the smiting. The smiting helix. Okay. I was like, wait. Wait. Oh, that's sad. That's sad for many reasons. Jesus. God, do I just triple block this thing and lose two creatures? Either lose two creatures or lose... One creature in an Elvish Fury or lose two cards. These are the questions. This card's pretty much dead with this Massacre on the board, and I have a feeling they're never trading it. I think we're just keeping Elvish Fury in hand. Yeah, that's fine. So they block here and they take four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is all fine, especially when we have one Elvish Fury in hand. Bezos gave me a quarter to give to you. <laughs> the last god. Thanks so much, buddy. Eat him up. All right. Well, our board seems very good, all things considered. And they're still three mana away from dealing two damage. So we get to hold Elvish Fury in hand, which is pretty nuts. I feel like we're okay. Yep, that's fine. You take a point. All of my creatures deal deal with that thing with an Elvish Fury. If we double Elvish Fury, we get to survive too. Yep, 
Yeah, you can tell how much they're valuing this guy by they're just attacking with it. Like, I'll never block, even if you got 13,000 power on board. Yep, this is a fine trade. I've got bows that jingle, jangle, jingle. I mean, they could unearth this guy, but we'll just chump block it. And they go to seven. I think that's 100% what they're going to... Oh, Matron. Sure. Man, everyone has had one of these so far, so... Hmm. That's pretty scary. Well, this is four goblins, so we're already at five here, which is not ideal. And they're at ten again. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. I feel like they have to block here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they do have to block. They have to block two things. Because if they just block one, uh, we can go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, seems fine. I mean, they're just going to sack these three. We're going to go to six. And then we're just going to hope they don't have removal for this guy. One, two, three. Oh, wow. They're just going to lose their lesser Masticore. Oh, I guess they had to because this just killed... Oh, well, no. They're going to gain life though, right? Yeah. I mean, this is actually good though because we're going to go to six. So this alone can't kill us. Oh, I guess they do have the Siege Gang lady. Who's that lady? Savage swipe would have been good here. Um, Oh, uh, yeah, but if you Savage Swap, they just sack it, so it's the same as, like, taking the damage. Yeah, we're just going to hope they don't have a removal spell. If they have a removal spell, we're dead. Like... Yeah, this is bad. I actually was thinking, oh, we can Savage Swipe this, then they don't have they don't have six power on board, but we'd be at five because they sack this, so that was just my mistake. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for a miracle. Unearth is pretty good here. Although it doesn't get haste. Yeah, Unearth is really good. Putrid Goblin also very good. Yeah, that 
That's insane. Wow, what a fucking hand, dude. Come on. I have exactly enough mana to do all three of these things. If you could if you could do one less of these, if you couldn't play this, if you couldn't play the goblin, or if you couldn't play goblin matron, like we this this game would be over. But you literally have to have five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Or eight mana, I guess. Five, two, and one. Yeah, like. And you have to have Siege Gang to make you sack, and you have to this guy has to get haste. So I guess that's that. That's really frustrating. Now we feel like we should have Savage Swipe this. I was playing around removal. If they had Defile, this guy lives. If they had another Smiting Helix, this guy lives. If they had another... I guess we die if they just have Smiting Helix, though. So I guess that doesn't really change things. If they have Pyrophobia, this guy lives. So I'm trying to block the, the first Sphere Gargantua. And I'm not playing around. Put four Goblins on the board make a 3-4 Hasty Flyer, so... My bad, I guess. I kind of like weaker than the we weather the storm here. <laughs> uh... <coughs> so, what another pack? Maybe that'll make us feel better. A non-foil. Oh, but also a spider on the back? Oh, man. You got an illusion and a spider? That's another thing I like. Ooh. This is an echo of eons. Are we on Teresa Nielsen? How do we feel about Teresa Nielsen? Have we canceled her for her, uh, her alt-right views? Come on. Just give me that focus, boy. And then look at this. Look what is this? what a cordial vampire. What an absolutely cordial vampire. This is just so cordial. U U E. Hey U E. I believe she's canceled. Yeah, that's the impression I've gotten. Thundering Gin, Regrowth, and Lava Belly Sliver. Can I just get my uh my crashing footfalls one time? Uh, I like Mist. I like Mist Syndicate Syndicate Naga, but they do have a lot of removal. Like if they don't have the the Masticore, it's fine, right? I'm just gonna submit like this. Don't tell anybody I'm submitting with forty one cards. Draft police incoming. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. I'm going to keep this hand because of the scour all possibilities. They went to five. Pfft. Sucker. Oh, Mother Bear. Mother Bear. Oh, look, if it isn't Mean Mugger herself. The Muggerist of Mugs. Let's scour all the possibilities. We're like Doctor Strange in, in Infinity War. I want both of these. Uh, no, I don't want the... Um, I really want to hit lands here. I'm going to put this in the bottom. I'll put you on top. Get in there, little bear. Don't play something that you'll block with. That's all I'm asking. Play a matron. That's fine. I don't think they block here, right? Oh, so good. Wooga! That's a ninja noise, in case you guys didn't know. Mother Bear is a common, right? It's not... It doesn't seem normal, right? It seems... It's kind of shocking. It just seems very good. Like, it's just a solid body on two. And then you make two more dudes later in the game. What problem is? Mm 
Man, you know what would be awesome? If we hit a land on turn 5. That would be just so sick, dude. They go block, block. They sack this dude, and then one of our guys survives. I guess we pump the dude. They, eh, It's fine. Then they still have a 1-1, and we have a 3-1, so it's... Mm. Yep. To the surprise of no one. Yeah, I'll just pass like this. Works for me. It's a one and a half for one. It's a one one for one. Do you normally keep hands where you can't cast any spells? I do actually. It's my that's my secret. I'm always not casting my spells. Boo, I'm scary. Uh, you know, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure, Travis. That is what the kids call a throwback. That is correct, yeah. Mind rake. Uh, yeah, alright, whatever. Oh my god, who cares? Uh, bows? If you overload this, you have to discard two cards as well. That's really interesting. Let's get rid of this fat boy. And pro like, I really like the bows and I like the life gain from the changeling. Let's get rid of bow. Uh, let's get rid of... Oh, we're just going to have to click OK first. Then we'll choose this guy and we'll choose the other five drop. Whatever. Because now we also have three creatures in the yard for this guy, so... You cast Stony Silence to untap it for eight more? Stony Silence? I feel like that's not the card you're thinking of. Stony Silence is one and a white. And it prevents you from activating artifact abilities. Stony Strength? Yeah, that, that untaps it. Yeah, yeah, that's the plus one, plus one untap. Yep, that makes sense. Who does play Mental Misstep? In Commander, no less. Man, that's one card. You got, you got one shot at hitting that Mental Misstep out of 100 cards. Unbelievable. Wow, that was rude. I don't really care about it that much, though, because it's just a mother bear. Come on, land. Daddy needs a land. Daddy didn't get a land. Daddy's really loving Magic the Gathering right now. Herd? What's going on right now? Sure. What a Hellraiser. What a little Hellraiser. Thank you. Mangar, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> I just trade with this guy. I don't even care. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. And I'm just going to kill this guy next turn, presumably. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, we will use this to pump. Seems okay. Yeah, I'll take two. You got it. Negative one, negative one.
Nope. <sighs> I just want to really shut off the smiting helix, and if, as long as we can keep a, a snow land untapped, we can do it. <sighs> That's pretty good. That is pretty okay. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Land. There we go. Now we're talking. Ask me no questions, I would tell you no lies. <clears throat> so they're probably just going to block and draw a card, which is fine. What a deal. So if we play this, they can just smiting helix it, which is not ideal. Um, we could actually just keep up both bows and rain. And make sure we're able to pump this guy, because we don't want them to just get smiting helix value off of this guy. Yep, that's fine. Wow, I never thought I'd see someone playing this card. But here we are. Make a two two, I guess. Like you like you do do. That guy seems good. Protection from instance, so they can deal him one. I think that's actually fine. So we can go hex drinker, make it a four four. And then still keep up mana to save this guy. That seems good. <clears throat> and pro instance? Get out of here. How do you deal with this guy? You don't. You'll basically be dead. I think this is fine. If they want to block here, it's fine. Like, it's just better next turn when they have this out, so. Next turn, they just get the value off this guy, too, so. Yep. I mean, basically, if they lose 14 more goblins, they're just dead, so. Not sure how they win. This seems aggressive, but okay. I mean, this seems fine. Like they can, they can smiting helix the frost wall now. But like we've also got a we got a smiting helix and an undead auger out of it. And if they play siege gang lieutenant, they can't. Unless they have a white mana. And Hex Drinker still a 4 4 with Pro Instant, so that's good. I think they have some decisions to make here. Maybe not. Getting rid of the auger on board seems really interesting. I guess because they wanted to sacrifice, but they didn't want to lose a million life doing it. <clears throat> I mean, we just make a 6-6, six, six, right? How good is that, right? Like, we just make a 6-6 six, six with protection from everything. And then we attack for 6. They go to 7. 
They have four goblins on board, which means they're actually at 11. If they crack back, like... They also gain three from the helix, which means they can kill this guy if we do that. I don't think we're doing it right now. I mean, I'm actually tempted to just attack, and if they block with all four, I'm actually fine with it. Which I don't think they would do. Pro everything does sound good, but it costs us a lot. <clears throat> and they have a lot of pressure and a lot of ways to gain life on the board, especially with the Smiting Helix. So I don't think, I don't think that's where we're at right now. I think right now we're just going to try to diminish some of their... Their things. You know what I'm saying. Because this lets us make a 2 2 and play Thank you. and this, or we can keep this up and this. Yeah, I think this is actually fine. Juposhi, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Honk, honk, who's on the bonk? It's you. It's you, Frank. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Oh, God. Thank you. Glad to be on the bonk, buddy. Glad to be on the bonk. Yep, that's a big fat idiot, all right. I don't know if we reign of revelation here or if we just <clears throat> draw three cards. Or if that's the same thing. I don't know if we reign of revelation here or make a 2-2. Two -two. See, it already stopped raining. The flower to be weird, man. Frank the strong. Wow. You guys are amazing. I think we probably just want to advance our board. We have tons of things to play already. I would like to hit lands, but... So definitely putting this on you. Definitely suspending you. And definitely attacking with you, but also plussing you once this turn, which is pretty good. <clears throat> Could probably start attacking with this guy, too. I feel like now we're being a little more conservative, which is probably not necessary. Yep, you got it. And we'll plus you again. Uh-huh. That's pretty good. Boy, this is just your MVP, isn't it? What up, Chris? <clears throat> Mana is where you want to be. One, two, three, four. I feel like this is just unbeatable for us, unfortunately. Because next turn, they're, they can literally, I think they can actually probably just kill us next turn. They sacrifice this guy. This becomes a five. We're at 10. And they have Smiting Helix in the graveyard. So I feel like we're in really bad shape here. What's up, Troy?
Have you cracked any Modern Horizons 1 yet? I have. I've been cracking them this whole time. We got a seasoned Pyromancer and a uh, the Black White Horizon Canopy Land. Horizon Land. Oh, this is real exciting. All right, so first off, we got a Foil Mirror Token, which is actually pretty sweet. If you're going to get a Foil Any Token, I think a Mirror is probably one of the coolest ones to get. Because it's metallic, right? Because they're they're artifacts. So that's that's just that's just some flavor. Some flavor goodness. And then we got the Thran art token, which I'm super excited about. This is one of my favorite arts in the set. It's very good. It's not just the mirror token, that's true. I don't I'm not, I don't know what the rare is yet, so I'm gonna pull this away and then we're gonna find out together. Oh, it's a Genesis. It looks like it's a black and white Genesis because of the green screen, so. The most expensive card is a snow-covered mountain. I like that there's a snow-covered land in all the packs. That's pretty cool. And our uncommons are Urza's Rage, Talisman of Creativity, and Secluded Step. Come on. Don't, don't, do, me, don't do me dirty, Logitech. Whatever. You guys know what they do. You guys know what's happening. All right. Well, I'm definitely just chump-locking this idiot. And they're at six. They go to seven. Maybe we're not dead. Yet. Foil snow covered lands are thirty to fifty dollars. Get the hell out of here. That's insane. I like that that I'm at a point in my life where I can say that the foil uh the foil yog moth is my favorite card in the in the pack. Not foil, the the art, the full art yog moth is my favorite card in the pack. Interesting. So you're at 9. You go to 10. Hmm. So we can attack you for... So you have to actually block here. And then we can play this guy and it has reach, which is very good. Hmm. Okay, I'm game. Come on, have three guys. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. All right, you have no ground creatures, so I guess we're just getting in there for a million. Yep. Saw that coming. You go to two here? Wow, there's got to be there's gotta be something we could have done. Yeah, so now we have a reach creature and a creature that uh, gained us five life. So I feel better about this. Unless they go Swamp, Defile, Smiting Helix, our face, attack for five. Which is probably very much on brand for this deck. There's not a single planet where I'm not blocking. There's not a single... There's not one in the 14 million... 14 million outcomes here where I don't block this. And that's also a situation where they could have thought we didn't think it had reach or they didn't know it had reach. Oh, three, three at random, huh? Do I? I don't. I don't know how the Magic Online interface is gonna work here. So, I'm gonna clip their graveyard and figure out what's missing. If they don't actually just show me, they should show me. Okay. Um. Did not. It did not show me. That's hilarious. Yep. It. it they had. It didn't. It doesn't show you. Okay. So it would have been like. Putrid Goblin. Uh, Goblin Matron and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It wasn't this. It wasn't this. Orcish Hellraiser. So Hellraiser, Goblin, and Matron. That's really dumb that they don't tell you the cards that return to your hand.
cool utron tech what was my utron tech Our deck seems good. <laughs> Colonel <laughs> Colonel Utron. <laughs> oh lord. I really just want crashing footfalls on turn one. Is that too much to ask? It doesn't feel like too much to ask. Um, uh, this hand's pretty rough. Can't activate this. We don't have a blue source. Earliest play is turn four. We'll mulligan. This is worse, but I'm gonna keep it because I'm not going to five here. And we're on the draw. They went to they went to six too. So no, wait, they didn't. No, but they only have four minutes to win this game. So wow, five fucking forests. That's actually incredible. All things considered, that's not a bad draw. Assuming it can survive next turn. We could have waited to play it on turn four, but I don't think we have that kind of luxury and we have no other plays. They also don't have a swamp, so Defile is a blank here. Why do you pronounce Colonel like Colonel? I, I personally don't know. Why do you pronounce Bologna like baloney? That's my question. Ooh, that was a good draw. Okay, so this turn is this guy is literally just an 8-8 next turn or a 6-6 with protection from everything next turn. That seems gas. <clears throat> I'm actually not going to attack here because we take four. Eh, actually, I think we're still ahead. Like, this is a two-turn clock, and whether the storm will gain us at least six life because we can just wait till they play something. Wow, Hex Drinker is the truth, my dudes. They also got stuck on two lands, and they have three minutes to win the game, so. Seems good for us. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So even if they have, like, a goat nap to steal this guy, we still get to not worry about it. Yeah, we're definitely shipping a land here. All right. So we're hoping that they don't go, like... Even if they go land... Go, like, I can't imagine what they would have here that would kill us. But, I mean, their deck has been pretty aggressive, so I'm kind of, like in that like defensive position where I'm like okay and we just win the game all right they also kept seven right so I don't like I mean if they only had two like eh, I don't know whatever the hex drinker is the entire boggles deck in one card yeah instead of playing eight individual one mana enchantments you just you just pay eight mana And then it's the same card. We are 2 0 right now, which is pretty sweet. Oh, let's open another pack. That's how we do. Join this match. Zombie token. Oh, that's sick. I'm sorry, guys. This set's really exciting me for some reason. We got a zombie token. But on the back, we have a, a, a Ren, a Renblum. Got a Remblem here. This is a Ren emblem. I'm going to try to... 
this is so ridiculous i'm getting i'm getting really like it's like it's just not it's not reasonable that this is so fucking shitty at at focusing like i guess we'll never know what it does instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard have retrace just in case endling art card that's pretty sweet oh my god hex drinker being named pregenitus is actually the most amazing thing i've ever heard here's a snow covered island followed by oh wait was that wait oh wait what is oh i was moving this I'm, i was getting really oh fiery islet is real nice that's a spicy boy and then our three four our three uncommons are talisman of conviction cunning evasion and a fact or fiction so not too shabby i will play first We are playing against the one and only Gabby Sparts. She is a wonderful human being. And if you guys are here, if you guys are watching on Gabby's stream, or if you guys are watching Gabby's stream, or anything anything related to Gabby's stream, do not give me any information about what is going on on her stream. That is not okay. So, do not do it. Mother bear, mother bear. Thank you. Keep up the great commentary, my dude. Tequit, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. We really appreciate it. Oh, it's a Gabby and Luis duo? Oh, no. Do we just get in there? Let's just mother bear it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> get revenge for the gut shot. Good times. Good times. Ooh. Let's play the elk first. Star City released a video highlighting that game as an example of Phyrexian mana is bad. Yeah, that's a that's a fair that's a fair assessment. Thanks to Phyrexian mana, I can't sit around and be safe at one life. So. Frost Walla. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Frank loves gutshot. Told Luis to gutshot me. That's fantastic. That's a big dude. And that is a sizable gentleman.
Well, I feel like attacking is not in our best interest. Uh, I have not seen the link to the most. The most like, I don't even know. What pretty, I don't know what pretty D is to be honest with you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can, we can, we can triple block here. One, two, three, four, six, and they, they, they literally eat all of our things. Does not seem ideal. Mother bear, and we only have one creature in the graveyard. That's rough. Oh wow, the old. Mm, that seems good. Hmm. Well, I feel like this game was looking great up until the point where they played double eight eights. No, sir, I don't like it. Is it a TCG player video or is it a Star City video? Because <laughs> those are two different sites. Wow! That's insane. Get out of here with that. Well, we're double blocking one of these behemoths. One, still only two creatures in the graveyard. That is unfortunate. Would really like five ma five life right about now. I think we're still actually pretty okay though. Five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually triple block. Like, they trade these two for this guy, but then, like, Gabby is in top deck mode. God, three more creature cards. We have two creatures in the graveyard. It's so frustrating. Yeah, same. Also glad no one is spoiling. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We're just, do we just play the land? I don't think so. Come on, no whitelist. Oh no. Yep. Now we can't triple block this guy. They know what's up. Wow, so rude. I feel like this is correct. Come on, ice, ice them down. Ice them and ice them and mice them. Heck, Stringer's actually not bad here. But the trample is too much. So if we actually had uh, the Winter's Grasp or whatever that, whatever the card is, we could actually turn this guy down and then still make a guy or make two bears, which is pretty strong. All right, so 
that's a thing. Kind of want to splash white for this uh, Settle Beyond. These two seem good, considering what they have. Winter's Rest. I thought we had two of this card. I guess we just have the one. Bring those in. Yeah, that should be fine. I will put it. Seems fine. Seems fine. Oh, it's the middle of a it's a it's after another round, so we're gonna we're gonna open another pack here. I feel like I have to watch this video now that uh, now that I'm playing against both of them. Uh, we have this guy and uh, this guy on the back, so the old the old twofer. Our art card is Throws of Chaos, the Cascade card. The art is really like you can really appreciate the art more when it's when it's large like this and you can see all the detail. So, as you can tell, I'm a fan. And let's let's look for the rare. You ready? That's just a foil spider. That is a foil rot widow pack. Hey, look at that. It zoomed in. Let's actually try to remove it now. And we'll get this Plague Engineer, which I think is good. I don't know if it's... It's probably modern playable, right? It's a 3-mana 2-2 two -two with Death Touch. And it kills all the dudes. It kills all the little beasties. There's a lot of tribal stuff. You can name humans. Ben, I actually don't know. Um, I'm going to bottom this... What does this even do? I want to bottom both of these. I just want non... Uh, I want some plays. Like, this guy into this guy seems good. And then the uncommons are Undead Augur, Ingenious Infiltrator, and Munitions Expert. Oh, Frost Walla, keep on rolling, Mississippi Moon, just keep on shining on me. Are we just opening a box? Yeah, we're just, I got a box from uh, from Jake P, otherwise known as Guardian Links or Spectral Links or any kind of links you find in the wild. Uh, he sent me a box of Modern Horizons from his store, The Game Grid, in Logan, Utah, so definitely check those guys out if you're ever, if you're ever in the area. Also, definitely go to CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, I had an article go up on Wednesday this week, and it's uh, it shows off some of the modern brews in modern Her that are using Modern Horizons cards. So definitely check that out. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com. You can use promo code Frank Five to get five percent off your purchase as well. So head on over there. If you guys do that, please leave a comment in the article itself. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts. It looks great, and uh, it helps me. So it gets some exposure to the article. Lets people know that uh, there's been a reception to it. So definitely leave a comment in the article over at CoolStuffInc.com. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Also, next week, next week's article on Wednesday, I got a real banger for you, so. That was rude. They don't have the chat. Gabby and Luis are they don't they don't really have the chat up. So, I I, I get why they're not uh, able to respond here. But 
I'm still going to say stuff anyway. This is not a trade I want to make, I don't think. Because we can pump this guy and then Elvish Fury, but we're missing one, so we can't actually do both. Eh, we'll just stay home. Just stay home. We could have also played Spring Spring Bloom Druid, which would have put us in great shape for the Behemoth next turn, actually. Really? Alright. I'm game. I'm mostly game because this takes up one of your mana, and you also have win, the Winds card, uh, this, the Path to Exile card. So, the fewer guys I have on board, the better. Sure. I'll pump. Okay. We have both pumped. That seemed like a good deal. Oh, if it isn't Hat Hat Mike. What up, Hat Mike? Oh, what up, Chiller Pillar? Yeah, I feel like this turn would have been better if we actually played Spring, Spring Bloom Druid instead of the Birthing Bows, unfortunately. And I just forgot to pump because I was thinking about that play. So it's kind of messy. Got a little bit of a mess on our hands. Let's bring in Snow Covered Plains and Snow Covered... Single Blue? Single Blue, okay. Snow cover forest. I think that's fine. Does the T really stand for Turtleberg? No, that's insane. What's wrong with you? What's your problem? This is aggressive, but I'm okay with it. That seems pretty good. It's just that my middle name is Turtleberg and I've never met another. Well, that's something, isn't it? Okay. Turtleberg donated $1. Tired of living someplace good. You should move to Turtleberg. You can now... You can live in a giant shell and eat whatever turtles eat. It sucks. Try it out now. Wow, that doesn't sound like a good deal at all. Why would we do that? Oh, well. All right. One, two, three, I guess? Seems good. So basically, they got rid of a 4-2 and the 2-2 two -two that we had. I don't think that's actually the worst. Especially when we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So we can go 6.
and then still make a guy. Seems good. Yeah, this card's nuts. It's just Path to Exile that could be Path to Exile for all of your creatures. It's Path to Exile or Settle the Wreckage, depending on what you need. <laughs> yep, that's hilarious. Wow. Oh, dear God. <laughs> can't. Actual dead. And this is what? if uh, As long as another creature entered the battlefield and you control this turn? Sure. I like that uh, both of these games seem to have been decided by this guy. What is going on? Uh, Winner's Battlefield. If you control another permanent, exile a permanent other than it. Return that. Yeah, that's fine. That's very good. Yeah, this is all fine. Probably just getting rid of a forest. Actually, we can probably get rid of an island. I don't need four snow covered islands. One, two, three, four, five. I think we just, I mean, it's either this 2 2 or just make a 2 2, right? I don't foresee us playing this yet. I do want the life off of it. Maybe we just run it out there, actually. Like, we're going to take more damage than we actually... Like, we're going to take three next turn, and then we'll take three of the turn after that. So it's like, do we really just not play this in hopes to gain five while we're, like, losing six life over it? No. Probably not. All right, that seems fine. Man, there's a lot of lands we're hitting here. Three, four, five, six. I mean, if they want to triple block this guy, that's totally fine. They could also go three, three, two, two on this guy, which I'm not thrilled with. Is there a situation where we attack with all? No, because they can just go take eight and then just go double block block. I think that's still good for us, though. Oh my god. Wow. How is this even real life? Hmm. They take 10, they go to 1? Yikes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So I think we're still doing this. I do like prohibit here. I'll put this on the bottom. We'll just draw prohibit. And I'll just keep birthing vows up. I mean, every creature is lethal at this point, so... It's fine. Have I listened to Bell and Sebastian? Not for a long time. In early 2000s, I listened to some Bell and Sebastian, but it's been a while.
I mean, I think we're just attacking with everything here. They go block here, double block here. But then we get to put two guys on board and keep up prohibit. I think that's fine. I heard the new Get Up Kids album is actually very good. And that surprised me, but I, I was glad to hear it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. put this in the front we left the, the Strix alive because any of our tutus can kill the Strix whereas any of our tutus can't kill the fountain if the get up kids tour around here I will definitely go see get up kids 10 minutes to downtown is 10 minutes too far? Maybe I'm being selfish. Maybe I'm just scared. Don't be gone when I get home. You're out of my head. If I had to explain it, I wouldn't know where to start. <sighs> Did we take out Squirrel Nest? I kind of like Squirrel Nest with with, uh, with his outfit and decoy. Pockets empty. How can you tell me that everything will work out? A pointless fight, and you're always right, and everything will work out. I think we're actually good like this. Do you think it would win a match in Modern League with Bear Tribal Deck? Uh, one match in a league? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I probably can't do that. If this had Crashing Footfalls, I would probably actually keep it. I'd be like, I'll just ride it out. This is how it's going to go in the fucking last game against Gabby and Luis. That's cool. Cool magic online. I really appreciate it. Fine, I'll keep this. Bottom you. Bottom the great card that is that guy. Give me the give me the crashing footfalls one time. In this entire draft, give me it one time. Just put it on the top. One time. I want to suspend it on turn one. One time. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. It's too much task. Oh well. One time in the middle of our street, one time. Well, this is not a terrible recovery hand, I guess. What up, Team Cameron? Put them bows out. Throw them bows. Are you going to counter this? Oh, you're just going to play a little sneaky boy? Wow, and they had the... Oh, they only have two. Oh, I guess they draw a card. It doesn't have death touch, sure. I thought it was draw a card if you have three. It's actually death touch if you have three. You always draw the card. And now you have death touch. Uh, no blockers, because I don't have any creatures, Magic Online. Thank you. Thank you. No blocks.
TTNG fan. What is uh, TTNG? I actually don't know what TTNG is. I can't think of what that acronym stands for. I actually have never heard that before, so I could not say. Trek, the next generation. It's like Star Trek, but hip, yeah. <laughs> you guys watch TTNG? It's uh, tech, Trek, the next generation. It's pretty good. Uh, I kind of just want a winter's rest on this guy, but I think it's better to add to our board, and if they want to pump this, that's totally fine. Uh oh, they're doing something scary. They're prohibiting our mother bear. That's rude. I guess we'll take five and then we'll just tap that buddy down. Well, we're definitely not attacking here, because I don't really want to trade these for these. I guess that's also fine. I think we're actually right now revelationing here. I'd rather just draw some cards and see what we hit. Oh, one of our white sources, huh? That's unfortunate. Oh, mother bear, I want the world to... Okay, let's see. I assume you're naming Creature, and you hit one big fatty boy and a blue. That's actually very good. That's pretty good. And you got to hit a land in the graveyard. Seems good. Well, that's hard to deal with. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus four. That's insane. Come on, settle. We can blink this out oh, a token, though. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Settle anyway, one time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight mana. So we can actually make a guy. This is five, six, seven, eight power. We can triple block it. It seems really rough. Four, 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 six, six, seven. It's probably just better though. Yeah, we're still in it. Oh, they have Blizzard Strix, so they can actually just exile one of our things. That's actually terrible. Wow, Blizzard Strix and, and Behemoth are just an insane hit off this. Why does this thing have trample, dude? so bad <sighs> yep 
And then the XL or the Triller Pillar. Yep, that's pretty good too. Not sure there's anything you can actually draw here. Just the best winding way ever. That's fascinating. It's really good, but it doesn't doesn't get us out of this mess because we have to deal with everything. We can't cast it on Chiller Pillar, and that's the one card we want to cast it on because that's the 6-6 six, six flyer, 5-5 five, five flyer. So I guess that's the end. Was not meant to be. Either way, good good final games against Gabby and Luis. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, on Manatraders.com. You can find a promo code and a link in the description for 20% off your first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal for a great service. And you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Check all those things out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. If you don't enjoy the content, let me know why. And uh, we'll try to work on that. But definitely... Uh, Definitely appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time.